Hello and welcome. Are you looking for a way to make training more engaging and efficient? In this demonstration, I'll be showing you how InetLearn, Ecom's learning management system, will do just that. I'm Julio Oliveira, technical specialist at Ecom Learning Solutions, and I'm delighted to show you how can InetLearn transform your training delivery and help you reach your learners whenever they are, whenever they need it. So let's explore the key features that make InetLearn a game changer. We will start by logging in as an admin, where your journey begins with an intuitive workspace to elevate your e-learning experience. On the left-hand side of the page, you will find eNetLearn's menu, where you can navigate through our platform with ease. At any time, feel free to hit the help button, located conveniently at the end of eNetLearn's menu. It's like having a personal guide through your eNetLearn journey. Now that you've gasped the fundamental details on eNetLearn, let's dive deep into our menu and see what's available for us. Starting with the workspace. As you enter the workspace, you'll be greeted with a My Learning tab, where you get access to a sophisticated search bar. Additionally, a swift glance to the My Reports panel, where you can get access to a rapid overview of your progress and insights. On the search bar, you can look up for a desired course by having access to different filter options. A single click on the search button dynamically updates the displayed courses. Jumping into the Catalogs page, you get access to three different pages, the Catalog, the Purchases, and also the Redeem Learning. Here on the Catalogs page, you'll find three different incredible features. First up, the search bar, where you can find the right course for you with little to no effort. The second great feature that we have is next to the course that you desire, we'll find the Details button, and you can find a comprehensive overview of what that course has to offer to you before making the final decision of purchasing. And third and final feature of this page, you guessed it, the checkout. When you find a course that resonates with you, simply click on Add to Basket, click on the trolley cart and breeze through the checkout. Now let's move on to the Purchases page, which is your personal learning portfolio. Here, you can view all the courses that you have acquired. And third and final page, the Redeem Learning page. This is where you insert the token and get access to exclusive e-learning material. Arriving at the Learning Management System, you'll find three powerful sections, the categories, the programs and the courses. In the Categories page, you can get access to a search bar where you can type in the name of the category you want to look up for. You can edit and delete those categories. And to add a new category, simply click on the Add category on the top right. Clicking on the Add category, fill all the details and simply click on Add. Moving on to the Programs page, you have available a search bar and a category filter where you can filter the programs by category all the programs are associated with a certain category and to add a new program you click on add program on the top right fill in all the details select the category you want to link up to and simply click on add and finally the star of the show the courses page and just like the categories and the programs page you have a search bar and you have the courses displayed underneath in order to add a new course click on add course on the top right fill in all the details you can choose to add a duration of the course by adding the amount of days, the number of participants, make sure you link the right category, upload your logo. You can choose to make this course visible in the catalog page by ticking show in catalog. Don't forget to add your price. And once you're happy, feel free to click on add course. You will notice that the page gets refreshed and several different tools unlock. In your course, you can now upload your score module in a zip file go ahead and click Choose File, select your file and hit Upload. Once the upload is completed, click on the X on the top right and close that window and you will notice that the score modules on the top gets updated with the file that you just uploaded. Feel free to add any tags to your course on the Course Tag section to make your course easily discoverable for your learners. You may also notice that now you have the option of making this course available for free by ticking the box at the bottom on the catalog details. Once you're happy with all the changes, go ahead and click save course and your course is now available. Let's take a look at how it looks on the catalog page. Look up for your course, click on details and there you have it. Now that we fully covered the learning management, let's move on to the shop management. This is where you can amplify your sales by offering discounts on specific purchase levels. Just simply select the type of discount, the amount of the discount and the item count. Once you're happy, click on add and notice how your discount gets now updated to the list. Now let's swiftly transition to a powerful hub, the users page. In this page, your user management system takes center stage. 
And just like before, we are greeted with a user-friendly search bar, and underneath we can find a list of the users. As an example, let's look up for a student called RV Spectre. Type in the name on the name bar and click on search. You can now find that the users list gets updated for the user that we just looked up for. We can see his name, email address, username, and his role. And you can also find that we have access to seven different tools. Starting with the workspace, we can view the workspace for this learner by clicking view. We can quickly have a glance of what courses this student has launched, the last visit on this course, and even his score. We can also edit this user information by clicking on the edit button. You can change any information as we want. You'll also have the option to delete this user by clicking the delete option, reset his password, resend his welcome email, and most importantly, we can mark this user's progress. What this action does is when clicking on it, we can mark any course as we want as completed, give it a score, select the date, and hit save. The course list gets updated and we can now see that that course was marked as completed. If you want to add a user, go ahead and click the add user on the top right. Simply fill all the information required and click on add. Do you need to import several users? Well, go ahead and click import learners. In this page, you can import several different users at the same time by simply uploading a CSV file with the expected import columns to be the ones displayed. Go ahead and choose your file, click on import, and all those users will be imported to eNetLearn. Going back to the menu, we can find the import and export page. The import page is exactly the same for importing users, and the export page is where simplicity meets power. In the export page, you can export learners or export learners course progress. Let's go ahead and export learners. Click on export learners. We have access to a search bar to look up for a specific learner. Go ahead and select the users that you want to export and hit export. Your selected users are now neatly organized in a CSV file. Now let's explore the immense capabilities of the Groups page, which is a powerhouse for managing and organizing your learners. Groups are a go-to tool for enrolling a batch of learners into your courses. Once you arrive at the Groups page, you once again you have access to a search bar and the groups displayed underneath. To simply add a group, go ahead and click Add Group on the top right. Go ahead and fill the name and description, and you even have the option to auto-join on registration. Once you added your group, you will notice that the page gets updated and several different tools unlock. You can now link your categories to this group. Go ahead and click Edit Categories. Tick the box to the categories you want to associate to this group. But once you're happy with the category selected, go ahead and close the window. The category section gets updated. Go ahead and add a course to this group. Click on Edit Course. Feel free to navigate through the search bar and look up for exactly the course that you want. Go ahead and tick the box for that course and close the window. That course got now updated into this group. Quickly add a program by clicking Edit Programs. Tick the box once again for the program that you want to be associated with the group and close the window. You can now add your users by clicking Edit Learners. Select the learners you want to be associated with this group and close the window. Now you successfully organized your group. Go ahead and press back. Your group is now nice and tidy and ready for your learners to use it. It's all about creating a seamless learning experience for your group. Now, let's dive into a very powerful tool, the Reports page. In the Reports page, it's where you gain insights that drive decisions and elevate your e-learning experience. eNetLearn grants you access to several different types of reports. And in this case, we'll jump into Course Tracking Report. We can select a group. We can even select all courses or an individual course. We can select the status of that course. If you want to look up for any report on a specific user, tick the box for specific user and select the user that you want. Once you're happy, click on filter. This will then display all the information on regards to that course. Need it on paper? Don't worry. You can always export it by clicking export. And in one click, you have a CSV file with all the information needed. So thanks for joining me today. And I hope that in this demo, I showed how eNetLearn can transform your training delivery if you have any questions or you want to know how eNetLearn could work in your organization, feel free to get in touch as we are always happy to help.